Welcome to this screencast. Uh, after our first quiz, I saw that it's probably necessary to review ionic formula writing. So I put together this little review. Uh, first thing I want to do is remind you that ionic compounds contain a metal, and that metal is written first. So metal ion is written first, and that since these compounds are formed from ions, we're going to use our ion sheet in order to determine the proper formula. A little bit of a review of the rules. Uh, our ions in the compound need to add up to zero. The positive ion in the compound is written first. Subscripts are used to show the amount of each ion used in the compound. And we're going to use parentheses if we answer yes to both of the following questions. First question is, is the ionic ion polyatomic, in other words, does it have more than one capital letter in it? And is the ion used in the compound more than once? So we have to answer yes to both of those questions in order to use parentheses. Uh, probably the best way to do this is to apply these rules to a couple of examples. So I've got a couple of examples set up, and let's go ahead and go through them. Uh, first example, calcium chloride. What we need to do is determine if calcium chloride is indeed an ionic compound. So we'll go to our periodic table and remember that we have already color coded our periodic table with that stair step line. And we know that everything to the left of that stair step is a metal and everything to the right of that stair step is a non-metal. On metal. Let me fix up this arrow too. So what we're going to do is we're going to find calcium, and we see that calcium is way the heck over here to the left of that stair step, so it's definitely a metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look up our ions on our ion sheet. So we grab our ion sheet, and we go ahead and we locate calcium. And there it is. Calcium is right here. Ca2 plus. And we're going to find chloride. So keep looking. And there it is right there. Calcium chloride Cl Cl uh, chloride Cl minus. So we've got calcium Ca2 plus chloride Cl minus. Let's go ahead and get started on our formula. So what we'll do is we'll write Ca2 plus, Cl minus, and we need these two ions to, or yes, these two ions to add up to zero to form a neutral compound. Uh, right now, if we add them up, we get two plus, plus a negative one, which would give us a positive two, so we need more negative ion. So I go ahead and I add another chloride. Checking this out, I've got a two plus, plus a minus 2. Those guys will add up to 0. So I've satisfied rule number 1. The ions add up to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my two ions with no charge because I just got them to add up to 0. So I've got calcium and I've got chloride. My calcium is written first because it's the positive ion. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply these two rules kind of together. Um, what I do is I take a look at the first ion, calcium, and I ask myself, is the ion polyatomic? Well, I've got a uppercase C, lowercase a. Um, there's not two capital letters there, so it's not polyatomic, so I'm not going to use parentheses, but I still need to ask myself, is the ion used more than once? Well, it's not only used it once here, so it doesn't need a subscript. So I just leave it the way it is. Chloride, again, I'm going to ask myself the same two questions. Is the ion polyatomic? So I've got uppercase C, lowercase l. Um, there aren't two capital letters there, so I'm not going to use parentheses. The second question, is the ion used more than once? 
and it is. There's one, two, so I am going to need a subscript here to indicate that I used it twice. So the proper formula for calcium chloride is CaCl2. Let's go ahead and try another example, aluminum sulfate. Again, what I would do is I would look up on the periodic table, I'd look up aluminum, and aluminum is right here clearly to the left of the stair step. So that is also ionic. So I'm going to go to my ion sheet and I'm going to find aluminum. And go ahead and I look and aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. There it is, aluminum. Al3+. Plus. And I need to find sulfate, and there it is, sulfate SO4 2 minus. So I can go ahead and start working on my formula. Aluminum, Al3 plus, sulfate SO4 2 minus. First thing I need to do is get these to add up to zero. If I add these up right now, I get a positive one. Positive three plus a negative two gives me a positive one. I need more negative charge, so what I would do is I would add another sulfate. Now I get this to add up to a negative one, so I need more positive ion. So I would go ahead and put down another positive aluminum three plus. And now I get this to add up to a negative two. I get a positive 6, and a negative 4 adds up to a positive 2, so I need more sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. And now what I get is a positive 6 plus a negative 6, which is going to add up to 0. So I'm ready to go ahead and write my formula. I would write the aluminum first, Al and the sulfate second, SO4. Again, I write them without ions, without charges, uh, because I just got them to add up to zero. The charges don't exist anymore now that I've got them adding up to zero. So I'm ready to go ahead and move on to subscripts and parentheses. I'm going to take aluminum first. Uh, I ask myself, is the ion polyatomic? I've got an uppercase L, lowercase, uh, uppercase A, lowercase L. So there are not two capital letters. So I'm not going to use parentheses. I take a look and ask, is the ion used more than once? And it is. I used it once here, a second time here. So I need a subscript of 2 on this. I can now do the same thing for the sulfate. Uh, is the ion polyatomic? I've got a capital S and a capital O. There are more than one capital letter, so I might need parentheses. Did I use this ion more than once? I did, one, two, three times. So I am going, going to need parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and throw parentheses around that. And it will need a subscript on the outside of those parentheses, a subscript of three to indicate that I used it three times. So there is my aluminum sulfate formula.